It certainly appears that the country has never gotten over the Bush-Gore hangover. That election in 2000, where people stayed up late and later still and later still and finally had to go to bed not knowing who won the election as it came down to the state of Florida for everybody. Went to the Florida Supreme Court several times, went to the U.S. Supreme Court, finally resolved Bush wins Florida, Bush wins the election, and he's the president in 2000. And since that time, there has been a great rigidity. Almost, it reminds me, although I wasn't around at the time, but reminds me of the account of the Cuban Missile Crisis, where uh, the United States and Russia come together in Cuba, and if anyone blinks, they lose. The Russians blink, they lose. Kennedy wins the Cuban Missile Crisis. And it is like that, that there's such a rigidity now in the electorate, for the first time really ever, that, that nobody can blink and nobody can uh, listen and nobody can uh, go along with any good idea. Nobody can do anything other than sit there and not blink. Historically, the country's been much more fluid than that. Historically, much more united. Uh, you can even go back to the Eisenhower terms, right? Eisenhower wins two terms in the 50s. It leads then to Kennedy-Nixon, very close, very close race, that's fine, Kennedy wins. After that, of course, Kennedy assassinated, Johnson wins uh, an election, a re-election since he overtook for Kennedy and wins big. Then Nixon comes back and wins, and then in 72 wins huge. Then Nixon goes out in scandal, Ford takes over, and Carter closely beats Ford. After four years, Reagan swamps Carter with 44 state victory. Four years later, Reagan wins 49 states in 1984. Reagan's vice president, the first George Bush, he wins 40 states in 1988. So the country pretty united on who it wants for president. Clinton comes in and he actually wins rather big, a plurality given the brokered uh, vote uh, with Ross Perot's involvement. Clinton easily wins re-election in 96, brings us to 2000. 50-50 split, 2004, 50-50 split, 2008, very close, five points, but that's because the Dow kept dropping a thousand points, seems like, every other day, and nobody wanted anything to do with Bush again, so they voted Obama. But since Obama's been in office, 50-50 split. And there's really no way out of that other than a new world order. And there seemed like two alternatives, uh, neither of which seems very palatable or possible. Uh, but will have to happen inexorably from the hand of God. One, a third party emerges uh, uh, filled with like reason, sensibility, and popular backing. That's going to take some time. Everyone's afraid if you break off and splinter through a, to a third party uh, that you that are going to lose the blink off. <laughs> the staring contest will be lost. That would take some time. That is one way. The other way is an utter, and this may happen this election cycle, an absolute utter implosion. Civil war, civil unrest, and a complete redo where the narrative set by sensible people carries the day and it restarts as it did back in the day and then you don't have this nonsense anymore. But the Bush-Gore hangover is in its 12th year and shows no sign of letting up. Despite the issues, everyone just divided 50-50. It cannot be in a mobile, fluid, free society to be that ideologically and weirdly rigid.